black americans offered to relocate to africa due to u.s discrimination earlier the ghanaian government launched the beyond returns initiative to help diaspora africans settle in and invest in the economy every black american who wants to get away from racism in the united states can settle in ghana the authorities of this country are ready to welcome everyone said the minister of tourism art and culture of ghana barbara oteng giasi report ghana web according to her racism in america continues to be a deadly pandemic for over 400 years but the death of african-american george floyd we put an end to racism not only in the united states but throughout the world oteng giasi is sure on the eve of the ghanaian government launched the Beyond Returns initiative to help diaspora Africans settle in Ghana and invest in the economy. Record that after the hard detention and death of the African American Floyd in Minneapolis, protests broke out in the United States. Floyd died in intensive care. Four policemen were fired as a result of the incident, and one of them was accused of reckless killing. After the video of the detention appeared, on the network, riots broke out in many U.S. cities. Hmm. Honestly, this is really a, a good uh, gesture from uh, from Ghana. If other African countries can really uh, follow suit, because I was even thinking of this that that would have been the best thing. I think uh, most of the uh, most people now are doing DNA and they will be able to locate where they really came from originally because majority of them don't even know the particular place in Af uh, Africa. That is why it's really painful. Honestly, if you if you are not in someone's position, if you are not in someone's shoe, you will not understand. Major majorly, most Africans, those who are in Africa now, those Africans now, we are not talking about uh, America, Africa Americans, they don't really understand most of the things at times because these people have gone through a lot of things you know people can just come out and say oh why are they behaving like this why are they doing like this don't they've tried they've tried to label them they've tried to tag them and all of that do you know the reason why you see that most of them behave the way they behave it's a long time suffering it's a long time discrimination you talk about people always talk about oh, maybe majority of them don't go to school and all of that do you know whether do you know that these people were not being given the opportunity it was just like you know from decades to decade from century to century they begin to change a lot of things that is why you see that okay they are beginning to have little voice even if they are having voice at all some people say oh why are people justify uh, this thing must is it because uh, something happened there they have to go and be looting what do you what do you understand you cannot explain better if you are not in their shoes a lot of people always try to write them off try to say all manner of things and all of that you know it's painful that you know that you are in a particular place you know that that is not originally that is not your place but you cannot just even trace back you can't even reverse most of the africans who always go to diaspora go to other countries you know that if you are gas you have where to fall back but these people don't have anywhere to fall back that's why you always see that majority of the africans once they go uh, abroad they will say oh there is nothing like home there is no place like home but these people it's a different thing entirely so the unfortunate thing there is that africa Africans or the African leaders are not even helping issues. Of course, let me tell you, if really Africans are doing what they need to do, make life comfortable, just, you know, normal, simple social amenities, we don't even get it. These people, believe you me, they would have come back. They would have come back. And it is Africans that will show them love, that you can come back home. Because when you see the color, you know that this is not where you belong to. But just that they can't even, uh, you know, retrace that step back. They don't even know where to go. So people should just try to understand from their own angle. But it's painful. And it's painful that most of the African leaders, they are not even seeing things in that direction, that these people can really come back home. But it's a good initiative from Ghana authority if they can do that, if they really can do that. I think uh, Ghana and uh, maybe South Africa, you know, are the two countries that you can see, okay, yeah, you know, people can really, you know, they are really comfortable with if they can, if they are ready to do that. Honestly, you don't even know the pain in the heart of those uh, African Americans because, <laughs> honestly, if they have a place they can call their home to fall back, they will just leave. They will go back, even if it is a you know. We always believe if Nagari they soak for your for your own country, it's better than all manner of things. Even if you receive insults in your own country, you know it's your own country. Uh -huh, you give it back. But when somebody tries to see you 
after all these years, they still see you as a, you know, not even recognizing you. It's painful for them to have reacted the way they reacted. You know, something something prompted it. But I think uh, the leadership in the U.S. need to really be, be more diplomatic. Show love. Because these people did not even plan to even come in the first place. They just found themselves there. Even their four, 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 four fathers did not plan to come there. Or like uh, we Africans that we can say, okay, I want to go and I want to go to America. You you are the one who who decided you want to go. And if anything happens, you you can decide again to go back. If you feel that the place is not conducive, con con comfortable for you, you go back. But their case is a different thing because they were being forced to be there, and you don't want to accept them. It's really really unfortunate. The leadership in the U.S. need to be more diplomatic. Show them love. Show them love because they never bargained to be there in the first place. So. I like what uh, Ghana is doing. If other African countries can emulate and do the same thing, honestly, believe you me, these guys will just do the any and 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 come back, go to different African countries. They be, they feel they belong. I think they've started doing that. A lot of them have started tracing their roots back gradually. But by the time they look at the environment, look at everything, you know, it's it's something. It's a different ball game mentality. The Africans there too, they are complaining. So I don't just understand this conspiracy. Of, of 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 a lot of conspiracy are just there that you can't even both from the African leaders and the Western uh, world everything is just summer everything is shrouded in secrecy so that is just my opinion concerning this whole thing let's hear what people are saying someone says here that hmm okay ah from fry pan to fire if they come to Africa someone say America was fire and frying pan together before they used the black label and blood to make it a paradise guy you furnish her nari from fire pan to fire they better endure they enjoying things like job lights good roads and good governments it's it goes beyond that you can have all of those things and you are not you are not you, you don't have a rest of mind you don't have rest of mind we know that uh, things are happening in africa but there's nothing like you know where you know that these are your people no matter how somebody we know that we have a tribalism and all of that but somebody if you give me i give it back to you all of us we did it together so nobody's going to uh, intimidate anybody so now they are there now that they happy they're not happy with all of those things they're not happy african americans and other blacks outside africa are our aborigines in diaspora they have god-given rights to go and even settle in africa which is their land any law that opposes their relocation and residence will be cancelled and resisted. This Ghanaian president is a corny man. Why Ghana? Will he be able to dictate for them on what to do? Is returning is returning um the problem nobody owns anywhere in the world. God creates this world and human beings has right to live and uh, wherever they wish. I suggest they stay there. Are they going are they going to come to Nigeria? We hate ourselves here because of different tribes. Then how can we love a stranger? We need to work on ourselves before we can accommodate anybody. After all, Africa America was built by their sweat. If they live to Africa, whites should leave black to Europe and leave the land for Native Americans. White discrimination against black is not worse than Fulani discrimination against non Fulani in Nigeria. America and world is protesting the death of Floyd, one person. But since the killing of Floyd, Fulanis have killed hundreds of non Fulanis. Nigeria is not ready and safe to accommodate American blacks. Thanks to Buhari and his Fulani kinsmen, what Nigeria will lose, Ghana will gain. Hmm. Don't make the biggest mistake of your life. Africa is not in any way safer. It's a welcome development. I love it. And they are our brothers and sisters. God has finally answered our prayers. Now we have people who can who can insult, fight the president and force Nigeria police to kneel down. Fight all the hairs, men, killings, pastors, raping women. My black brothers, you are welcome home. No matter what, no matter what, home is home. Hmm. Home is home, no matter what. As if Africans treat each other better with their primitive mentality and unending wickedness perpetuated against each other in the name of tribal affiliation no matter the discrimination america is still their home and they have better they have better chance of surviving there in than in africa 
their ancestors helped build that country so they can't live and come down here and suffer so guys what do you really think let's hear your opinion in the comment section because some people have the opinion that they shouldn't even bother it is better they stay there somebody say oh home is home there's nothing like a you know you being around your people and that is just my opinion as well but some people say it is better they stay there because they built that place what do you really think let's have your take in the comment section thank you